Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, hello. Good, good. All good. Nice. Hello, hello, hello. It's time to start. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Nice. Say good evening on the chat. Say how you feel, how your day was. How was your day? Did you have a good day? You had a busy day, an interesting day, a relaxing day, an awesome day. How was your day? For example, you can say, I had a very busy and a stressful day. <laughs> That's an example, okay? You can write on the chat how your day was. Okay. How was your day? I had a busy and a stressful day. I had a nice day. I had a wonderful day. I had an interesting day. I had an easy day. A relaxing day. A good day. Mm -hmm. Let's see your answers. A raining day today? Was it raining? No? No rain. Let's see. A complicated day. An interesting day. Okay, but it was tired. I know. I think at work, it's okay, but in traffic, <sighs> traffic to go to work, traffic to return home from work. That's what is, yeah, that's what makes the day sometimes tired and difficult and stressful. I had, okay, I had a stress, a day of a stress, a tired day at work, tired at work, yes. Good. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. I'm driving home in the traffic. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, traffic today. Not only today, these days, these last days, these last two weeks. It has been horrible. I know many people I know have had accidents. Unfortunately, having an accident is terrible. Okay. Good evening, good evening. The ones that haven't said good evening yet. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. We are writing on the chat what time or what your day was. I had a difficult day. I had a busy day. I had a relaxing day. So that's what we are describing. Okay. All right. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, crazy day. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I think uh most of the participants are ready. So we can have the attendance. Let me see. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Christy? 
Present teacher. Hello. Hello. Andrea. Maybe it's still in traffic. Brian. Not yet here. All right. Christian Alexander. Present. Hello, good evening. David Escobar. Hello. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Doris Elizabeth. Doris. Not yet. Teacher, I'm here. Hi, Brian. I see you. <laughs> How are you? I'm really fine. Were you in traffic? No, no, no. Well, well. So because my my bike has has broke. Uh, how do you say pedal? A pedal. A pedal. Oh, really? Yeah, but I fix it. All right. Good. All right. So we were calling Doris, but she's not here yet. Douglas. Present teacher. Hello. Then we have Stephanie who is driving, still in traffic. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Present. <laughs> All right. Francisco. Present. Hi, good evening. Gracias. Present. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Then we have Hector Manuel. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. good evening. Then we have Joanna de la Paz. Present. Hello, good evening. Jose Antonio. Jose Jose. No yet. Carla. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. <clears throat> Laura. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Nelson. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Ricardo. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Wendy. Good evening. Wendy. Present Wendy. teacher. Hello, present. good evening. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay, I mentioned everybody. Or is there anybody I didn't mention? Alguien que no lo haya mencionado? Hable ahora. Speak up now. <laughs> or never. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody was mentioned. Great. What day is today? What day is today? Today is... Nobody knows. Wednesday. 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 September. September 6th. September 6th. That's right. 2023. Oh, 2023. That's right. Okay. So this is the middle of the week number three. Of the unit number three. Next week, we finish. Next week for Independence Day, <laughs> we're going to rest on Friday. Woo! Friday, no classes because Independence Independence Day. But we have classes on Monday, the next, next week. So on the following week. All right. Got it? All right. Nice. Okay. Do you remember the class from yesterday? What we practiced? Uh -huh. The question. Practice the question. The Practice WH the... question. The information yes. questions. How to structure, right? How to create, how to answer WH questions or information questions in simple present. Exactly. All right. So at the end of this session, participants will be able to ask for and say the time of the activities in the workplace. So today we're going to move on asking what time question. 
This is very simple because we say, what time do you get up? What time do you start work? What time do you finish work? What time do you have a meeting? What time does your boss get to work? What time does the supervisor receive the report, let's say? So, if you ask about are you with a, we say do. If we ask about he, she, it, we say does. The same, but using what time, okay? So this is what we're going to be talking about, okay? I hope you already know the clock, okay? A clock. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. Before checking anything, I know when it's en punto, it's a clock. You can say pass cuando han pasado minutos hasta la media hora. Five. 10, a quarter, 20, 25, half, even half. You can say it's half past four. It's 10 past four. It's 20 past four. But cuando faltan hacia la otra hora, usamos el two. Yes? 25 to five or 20 to five, a quarter to five, 10 to five, 11 to five. Oh, in this case, it's 11 to 4, actually. But that's how we say it, right? So this is just to check a little bit of the, the clock. Okay, muchas personas, sobre todo los teenagers, no quieren pensar ni sumar cinco minutos cada número <laughs> o cada... O cada intervalo de esto, sino que simplemente quieren ver los números, right? So they just want to, they just don't want to add them, they just don't want to think about it. And, and if it's in English, even worse. But I hope you are still in the generation that learn how to use the clock. So, or the watch is the same. But now you have a smart watch and you don't have to check all this, you know, like the hands of the clock. You just say, oh no, it's the numbers and it's easy. But this is something we are going to be studying, okay? So, the first question, what time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast? What time? In your case, you don't go to school, right? So, <laughs> maybe we can say, what time do you go to work? What time do you have lunch? What time do you go to bed? What time do you have dinner, probably, right? So, these are simple questions. Voy a dejar las imágenes y ustedes van a estructurar las preguntas como si las fueran a hacer a un compañero. Todo tendría que ser what time do you y luego ponen el resto. Guiándose con las imágenes. What time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you go to work? What time do you have lunch? What time do you go to bed? What time do you have dinner? Or probably what time do you have dinner and what time do you go to bed, right? Un minuto, two minutes. So let's see, what time do you? Y luego la, la frase, yeah. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Complete. Finish. Finish. Nice. Have or eat dinner is the same. Have or eat breakfast is the same, right? Pero para variar lo voy a cambiar. Go to sleep Teacher. or go to bed is the same. Teacher. Yes, sir. Um, one moment. Uh, only use... No, no. Uh, en algún momento se utiliza, digamos, por ejemplo, como una siesta o algo así. Take a nap. 
Ah, yo sí. No sé por qué seguían de estas imágenes, pero igual, bueno, si usted quiere preguntar a qué hora tomas una siesta, o what time do you take a break, no necesariamente que, uh -huh. que se duerma, pero sí, es uh -huh. válido. At work, uno necesita un break, porque si no, ¿hmm? yeah. <ríe> gran colapso. <ríe> yes, gran burnout. True. Sobre todo aquellos días intensos, pero como el perreo. Sorry. I make the reference. All right. But ya les tienen las questions. Yes. 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 Ready. But esto se lo van a hacer a un partner. Y si yo tuviera que preguntarle, por ejemplo, a Carla. What time do you get up? Y ella me dice, I get up at 5 a.m. Entonces yo voy a escribir, Carla gets up at 5 a.m. Yes? Como si ya yo estuviera preparando para contarle a alguien más lo que ella me dice. Yes? Ready? ¿Están ready? Yes. Bye. Perfect. Ahorita les comparto igual las imágenes por si no se recuerdan. No problem. Maybe sí. Voy a procurar que queden in pairs. Para que pueda hacer así. Yo, por ejemplo, yo cuento de Laura lo que ella me, me respondió y Laura cuenta de mí. Yes. Oh, hay cuatro. No, solo tres, a ver. Sí, esto es. Uh... Vaya. Vaya, según entendí, cuando iba por 25 decía 25 pass to six. Entonces ya para la media hora sería How Pass Sit Pas Media hora pasa a las seis ¿Qué es lo que mencionas al comienzo? How, how. No, no how Algo así Es como, eh, es como se dice el, el Media I have Breakfast mm. at seven I am o'clock o'clock. Okay. Hi, hi. Uh, what time do you have lunch? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I have I have lunch at one PM o'clock. Okay. Um get over. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner seven PM o'clock. Okay. What time do you go to bed? I I go to the bed ten Seria seven she has breakfast. Vaya, en la tuya a qué hora sería para irlo anotando, para irlo a la par. ¿A qué hora te levantas? I get up at I don't have a specific hour. Uh -huh. No tengo una hora específica. Uh -huh. Pero usualmente uh, uh, five o'clock. I am five o'clock. A las cinco. Sí. Eh, compañero, yo guarde antes de la luz del sol. La luz del sol. <ríe> Five o'clock, okay. Five o'clock. Entonces yo diría, he get, he get up, five o'clock. Yes, he Vaya. gets up, he gets up. Vaya, en la segunda, de, do you have breakfast, a qué horas desayunas? I have, I have breakfast at six, 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 uh, fifteen, how? 15, no. 15 past to 6. No, 15 past 6. 16, 50. Ahorita estamos viendo con Cristi. Vaya. Este. Siga practicando entonces, yo sigo después. No, si sí, ahorita estamos viendo cómo hacer las respuestas de la... Sí, porque por ejemplo la primera, eh, what time do you get up? Eh, you... Uh, are you asleep every day, 11 o'clock? Or yes. for the English class? Because I have English. Okay. Very late. And then last weekend, I sleep at um, this. Bye, bye. Bye. I get up at 7 a.m. Okay. What time do you go? No, what time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at 6 a.m. What time do you have lunch? I have lunch uh, around 1 and 3 p.m. Okay, what time do you have dinner? I have dinner around 8 p.m. No, 7.30 and 8 p.m. Okay. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 11 p.m. And what time do you go home? I go home at 6 p.m. Okay. Finish. Okay. 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 Dame chance. Go to go to go. Uh -huh. Home. Go, go to work. No, home. A casa. Ah, home. Ah, bueno, es que ella lo cambió en anterior, ¿verdad? Ah, no sé. 
Ajá, o a work, al trabajo. Ah, ok. I go to work, ok. Ah, pero el trabajo sería. No, pero creo que ejemplo fue lo que ella puso. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces eh, sería what time. Ah, pero te voy, a te voy a contestar la de go to home. Ok. I go to I go to home uh, at six. At six. Sí. Okay. O a veces at night. At night, okay. Vamos a ver. La otra sería. Eh, sería what time? What time does Nelson go to bed, verdad? Goes to bed. Go to bed. Vale, ¿a qué hora te vas a dormir? Uh, Eleven. 11, 11. Mm. Mm. Igual yo 11, 12. <ríe> ok. No, son... Okay. Goes to bed. Goes to bed at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Vaya, y la, esta que teníamos aquí de, de go to work, que le habíamos puesto nosotros, pero cambiamos, la pongamos en la caja. La, o la agregamos. La cambiamos o la agregamos. O la agregamos. agreguémosla de todos modos. Mejor que nosotros, Brino, que falte, como es. <risa> Vaya, entonces sería... Vaya, pero esa de la, de la, de la, de regresar a caja sería entonces después de la de launch. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería la 5, ¿no? Number five, six. Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. well, 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 Goes, do, no. do eba. What are you do? Does. Do you? Does. Does Nelson go, go to, to, to home? Ahí yo no estoy seguro, fíjate, yo creo que hay que agregar el skis antes de preguntar, porque como estamos hablando, por ejemplo, what time does Nelson get up? En esa no, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero donde dice What time does Nelson has breakfast? Ahí creería yo que habría que agregar el his, porque sería a qué horas Nelson toma o, o tiene su, su desayuno. Entonces ahí sería has his breakfast. Pero igual, preguntémosle a la. Sí, le preguntamos. Porque ti, creo... la de vuelta. <risa> ahí te digamos. Vaya, entonces sería qué hora regresas a tu casa? Uh, four o'clock. Que no eran de las imágenes que puso él ahí, porque esa capa no estaba ah, o sí, 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 sí. sí eh, son las preguntas. En el grupo están de hecho la imagen. De esas son uh -huh. de ahí teníamos que sacar las preguntas que eran. I have very fast, I have lunch, eh, get up, go to bed, go home, y have dinner. Ajá, que tu word no estaba. Es, go to bed. Go to bed. What sí. time do you go to bed? Ah. 
Uh -huh. O sea, ¿a qué horas? Sería... Sale. ¿A qué horas salgo al trabajo? Sí. I will go to bed. Go, go to bed. Vale. Pero entonces me he confundido porque yo esa la tenía como a qué horas iba, tra iba a la cama. Sí, es que esa es esto. Lo, en, en el de work, como les digo, son las preguntas que ella subió. Que es get up, que levantarse, high breakfast, desayunar, uh -huh. have lunch, almorzar, high dinner, uh -huh. go to bed, de, de acostarse, y go home. Go to bed. Go uh -huh. to bed. Sí. En el grupo están las imágenes. Ajá. A esas les íbamos a hacer la pregunta y nosotros íbamos a responder. Uh -huh. Va, entonces uh -huh. vamos en el almuerzo. Lunch. Sí. Uh -huh. Va, I have lunch at uh -huh. one p.m. o'clock. Um, no, no lo logré captar a la 1 pm ok mm. what time do you do a sleep mm. I I go to sleep ten thirty five p.m. o'clock. Okay. Solo, solo una consulta. Eh, en esa pregunta de que acaba de dar, Carla, ¿qué hora dijo? Listo. Yo busqué diez y media pm y me sale ten thirteen at night. Ten at night. Me dice ten thirteen. Uh -huh. 30 at 9 meses. ¿No? Bien raro. <ríe> no, hombre, esto no colabora. No hay otra forma de decirlo. How fast. Eh, ale... How fast. How fast. How fast. ¿Qué me cuesta pronunciar eso? How fast. How fast. How fast. How fast. How fast. <ríe> Ok. Bueno, la siguiente sería What time do you No dijo usted, Cristi Do you have lunch? Sí, dije Pero I have lunch at noon I do 80 I no sería ten, ten, I have lunch ten, at noon Ten, ten, ten sería Ten tú, eh Ajá, serían quince, ¿verdad? Ten, no, yes, yes, yes. Ten to eight. Cierto. Ten to eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. eight. Da, ya están todos yeah. con esa pregunta. Ahora sería la siguiente. What time do you have lunch? I have What lunch time? at noon.
Hi, Miss. Finish. Finish. All right. Thank you. Miss, yes. yo yes. solo una cosita. Yo la respondí como pensé que usted nos iba a preguntar. He has, he has. Uh -huh. O sea, así vea. Sí, como que me cuente de su compañero. Ah, vale. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Right. Thanks. No problem. All right. Ready. Yes. All right. I see some people are still in the rooms. Let's give them a couple of seconds. Okay. Let me check, let me check. Oh yes, now everybody's here. From the room number one, we got Alexander, Hector, and Carla. No, no tienen que decir todo completamente acerca de su compañero, pero al menos una o dos, okay? So, interesting facts, okay? For example, um, si algo que le llamó la atención, por ejemplo, de de Mr. Hector Manuel this year. He goes to bed at midnight or he gets up at 4 a.m., right? Or he has lunch at 2 p.m., right? So one or two, una o dos cosas de su compañero. Ready? Empezamos con Alexander. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me. Eh, my partner Carla eh, eh, Carla high breakfast in 8.30 a.m. in go up to bed um 10 sorry p.m. at 10 30 p.m. very good she has breakfast at 8.30 and she goes to bed at 10.30. Nice. Yes. Manuel? Thanks. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Any interesting facts about your com your uh, partners? <laughs> I was going to say it in French. Okay. Um... Um, te me olvidó el nombre de quien estaba hablando. <laughs> Ale, or Carla. Uh, Ale. Mm -hmm. Okay. He, Ale, to lunch at 1 p.m. He has lunch at 1 p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Carla, she has to be at 10, 10 p.m. She goes no. to bed at 10.30 p.m. Good. And Carla, what can you tell me about Alex or Hector? Yo tengo de 
de Alex. Uh -huh. Sí, Alex. Sí, quiero ver. Uh -huh. She at 6 a.m. o'clock. Uh, He gets up at 6 o'clock a.m. Uh -huh. okay. she, have, she, have, she has lunch 1 p.m. o'clock. Mm -hmm. He has lunch at 1 p.m. All right, very good. Nice. From Joanna and Miguel. Joanna, what do you know about Miguel? And Miguel, what do you know about Joanna? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, Miguel, he get up at 5 o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. He gets up at 5 o'clock. Yes. He goes to work quarter past 7. A quarter past 7. Mm -hmm. He has sleep half past 10. He goes to he sleep at half past 10. 10. Mm -hmm. All right. And Miguel, what do you know about you, Anna? Um, she has breakfast at 7 o'clock. Uh, she goes to sleep at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, let me see it. This one. She get up, gets up at half past six. She gets up at half past six. Very good. Andrea and David. ¿Pudieron preguntar o, o ya muy tarde se unieron? Eh, no, <laughs> Andrea, yo me acabo de unir, no sé qué. Sí, no está. tuvieron la oportunidad de interactuar, ¿verdad? No. No, don't worry. Cristina, Douglas y Laura. Hi teacher. Hi. Eh, bueno, eh, de mis compañeros Cristina y Douglas dice. Um, eh, Cristina, she grab eh, six, six half as I am. Okay, she gets up at six and a half. Uh -huh, I am. Mm -hmm. And Douglas, um, he grab quarter to five am. He gets up at a quarter to five am. Quarter to five. And breakfast, eh, sería, have breakfast, sería Cristina. Has breakfast. Uh, sería 10 to 8. Cristina has breakfast at 10 to 8. Uh -huh. uh, and Douglas, sería 7 o'clock. Douglas has breakfast at 7 o'clock. Sí. All right, very good. Somebody else from this group? Cristina or Douglas? Hola. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Um, sería Laura. Uh -huh. Laura gets up 10 past 5 a.m. 10 past 5. Uh -huh. Y el otro sería eh, she has She has uh -huh. a breakfast, lo tiene 22, 8. 22? 8. 8, 22. Uh -huh. O 22 past 8. Okay. No, sería 20 a las 8. Oh. So, 20 to 8. 2 a.m. Uh -huh. Okay, I have 22. <laughs> 22 a.m. Okay, nice. And Douglas? And Douglas, solo tengo dos cosas que creo que la dijo. All right. Ah, no, creo que falta el, el lunch. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. He has lunch at noon. He has lunch at noon. Mm -hmm. Y Laura igual. A esa hora, Laura, también. Laura has lunch at noon too. Sí. Okay, no problem. I was wondering if Douglas was going to participate. Douglas, Douglas. 
Maybe not. Don't worry. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. I have a trouble here. It's all right. Okay. Tiffany and Wendy, are you going to report about each other? Yes. Mm -hmm. My partner is Tiffany. Mm -hmm. She gets up. She gets up at four p.m. Huh? Past four. She goes to work at the eight o'clock. She has a She is dinner at seven p.m. She goes to sleep at eleven o'clock. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm going to read a uh, Stephanie. She says she take advantage of the red light. Be careful because now you can get a big fine if you're using the phone. <laughs> Wendy gets up at 5 a.m. She has breakfast at 7 and she goes to work at 7.30. I know. And yeah, 7.30 or half past 7. All right. Careful, careful. Brian and Gracia. Um, so I'll start. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, um, let me check. She get up, uh, no, she gets up at, um, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. She have breakfast at... No, at 5. She gets sleep at, at 5 a.m. Uh -huh. She has breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. She has lunch around of 1 or 3 p.m. Pretty late. She have no, no. She have right. She have right. She has. She has. Sorry, sorry. She has a dinner around of eight p.m. She goes to bed around of. No, I don't remember. Sorry. Around around eleven. Eleven. What? Around yes. eleven. Around ten. Around, yeah, around around eleven p.m. Mm -hmm. And she goes home around of five p.m. Around right? five. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. That's it. Brian, he gets up at 7 a.m. He has a breakfast at 8 a.m. He has lunch at 12 at noon. And he has dinner around 8 p.m. He goes to bed at 11 p.m. And he goes to home at 7.30 p.m. 7.30, pretty late. Yes. All right, Francisco and Wilmer. Hi. Hi. Um, I uh, just remember one. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't pay attention to your partner. Se la atención que merece el compañero. Anotarle, dije, hay que anotar. Va a estar bien, Francisco, no me preocupe. Por eso no vamos sorry. a perdonar porque no lo podemos parar en la esquina, vea. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Wilmer. Um, pues, solo lo que recuerdo. Tampoco le puse atención a Francisco. No, pues, no, todo, igual, tampoco. Igual. No, pues, eh, Francisco, no sé cómo se llama. Ah, eh, Francisco goes home at uh, six, 
6 o'clock. Uh -huh. Él va, él llega a su casa a las 6. Uh -huh. Eso have... sí, así se dice. <laughs> He gets home at 6, that's all. <laughs> he has breakfast, he has lunch, he has dinner, he gets up. Solo, solo eso me dijo. Oh my God. All right. El del break, breakfast también he, lo dije. He has breakfast? Uh, seven. At seven. <laughs> Inventing. I don't. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. What about you? What do you remember the Wilma? Lo que yo me acuerdo es de Wilma. He had a dinner at seven. Seven p.m. P.m. Uh -huh. Y solo es. Yes. Oh. Vamos no a volver a dejar juntos en el otro room. Es que no noté, no noté. Ah, vaya. Nelson y Ricardo. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Um, Vamos a decir los días de manera general o la pregunta y la respuesta. No, solo cuénteme de lo que está okay. de su partner, Nelson. Ok, Nelson, get up at 3, quarter to 4 a.m. A quarter to 4. Yes, yes. Ay, Pobre. <laughs> sí. And he has his breakfast at 6, quarter past. A.M. At quarter past six. Quarter past six. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes to his work at four. Four. Half past. Half past four. Half past four. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Siempre se dice primero los minutos. Los que han pasado después de la hora. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And he has lunch at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. And he has dinner at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he goes to bed at eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Solamente. That's very good. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. How about Nelson? Okay. Uh, he has <laughs> ah, Ricardo. Eh, Ricardo. <laughs> sí, solo los dos estaban. Uh, he has get up he, he six gets up. He gets he, up at six o'clock. He gets up six o'clock. Uh -huh. uh, he has breakfast uh, half half past six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he goes to work at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I think, uh, he ate, he eats breakfast very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Um, he has lunch at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Is correct? Yeah. Um, he has dinner at 7 o'clock and he goes to the bed at 11 o'clock. Pretty late. All right, nice. Okay, that's it, right? That was everybody. Well, at least the ones that were able to. Okay. Give me one second. I just need to move something from the PDF. Todos tienen el PDF de su manual. Hopefully. Confíes en lo que aún. A tres semanas del curso no lo han sacado. Confes. You must confess. Oh my goodness. Espérenme. Que por alguna razón no estoy en el PDF que yo quería. Wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. 
Oh, yes. This is the one. Uh -huh. Por alguna razón, mistake había abierto otro PDF. No coincidía el manual. Jesus Christ. Vale, hoy sí. This is the correct one. Vale. Hemos estado estructurando WH or information questions. So yesterday we practiced with this and this was the last exercise we completed, right? Then you have like a mini conversation. What do you do on weekdays? I start to work at one o'clock. I prefer the machines and I send reports or I supervise the production, whatever. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, and then you explain what you do at work, right? So this is just a review of yesterday's class. And now we're going to study, we're going to read about Mrs. Robles' agenda. It says, ask for and say the time of the activities at our workplace. Ask a classmate the exact time that he or she does some activities at work. And then we have Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Robles' agenda. Okay, at 7.15, uh -huh, Mrs. Robles, has meetings with the marketing department. At 8.30 or half past eight, she has a video call with the supervisor from the West Company. At nine o'clock, she has a workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. At 12, she has a workshop lunch. At 1.45 or a quarter to two, she has the second part of the workshop. And at 5.55 or five to six, she sends tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, the new secretary, and leave. Hay que ver detenidamente la agenda de la Mrs. Robles para que podamos responder las questions, okay? Read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with the partner. What time is the video call with the West Company? What time does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the company close? Super easy. Creo que se los dejo aquí un ratito para que lo vean y lo traten de resolver. Okay? Okay. Three minutes. Venga, te la tía con chito echando esa. Y todavía les mando. Sí, sí. Ya por la tía no me sirve. Sí, sí, que está pasando.
finish yes yes all At right <laughs> and finish all right nice i love that okay <laughs> now you're going to compare your answers Let's okay see yes Bueno, alguien bueno. Que, que diga la número uno. Yo ahorita estoy todavía en eso porque me levanté a hacer algo y no salía tiempo. Si quieren, déjenme a mi una. Gracias. Eh, cuando la gra tres... Gracias, ya terminó la una. No. O bueno, sí. Si no me equivoco, era at 8.30 p.m. Si no me equivoco, o oh, a.m. The number one. Sería, Dice... o oh, oh, half past eight. O oh, at, no, sería a las. Sería a las at, 8.30. At Pero creo que hay que poner toda la, toda la respuesta. No, ajá, después de ponerle a las 8.30... He's the video call with the West Company. ¿Cómo, cómo puedes repetirla? Con todo el complemento de la oración, digo yo. Sí, por favor. He's the video call, call eh, with the West Company. Mm -mm -mm. Sí, porque dice... Sí, porque dice a qué horas tiene este... La videollamada. La, ajá, ajá, con, ajá, con, la, con video la compañía ajá. West, ajá, oh. West Company. He starts Entonces, the video call. El primero at sería 80. at... At 80.30. At 80.30. Así es. No, at 30 ajá. Hey, Terry. Hey, Terry. He's uh -huh. the video call with the West Company. Hey, Terry. No has pass. También se puede decir, pero es que como vamos a at alas. Y si dijimos. Mm, How past sería, uh -huh. no sé si le podemos, es que si decís at, creo que ya no podemos decir how past, at, porque si alas, tenés que empezar con la hora, mm. si no decimos alas, ¿cómo tres, quedaría la? A las pasadas, no sé, pasadas 30, ¿qué? Sería. Te escucharía raro. En español quedaría, vaya, sería, ella tiene la reunión a las 8.30, así quedaría. Yes. Oh. Number two. Vamos a ver, tú dice que a qué horas el eh, workshop es como... Compras o algo así, o venta, no sé, workshop.
Video call at the video call at eight thirty eight eight half past club eight thirty a.m. Eh, sí, o también como ya puso al principio de half past uh -huh. algo así half past de la de la universidad no es sí. todo muy diferente muy sí. muy diferente uno tiene que hacerle frente <ríe> ay no ok uh, una cuestión I have a question eh, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo vamos a dar la respuesta? No creo que solo sea así como lo hemos puesto. Por ejemplo, en la segunda podría ser, no sé, she started. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, la, la primera sería, eh, aquí yo no tengo la imagen de la... ¿De cuál? ¿Dónde a, está la, la... a donde dice, the video call with the suitcase from West Company, que es a las, a las 8 y 30, 8. Ajá, entonces ahí tendríamos que, que responder con la con la, la, eh, la respuesta larga y poner la hora. Uh -huh. Para responder la pregunta esa. Así entiendo yo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya ves, bueno. No cambia, no usa más fecha, no tengo nada. No cambia. Ahí te mandé la, lo de la conversación de sí, sí. Mr. Robles. Ah, tenés las páginas, yo no las tengo. Dice workshop launch, second part of the workshop. Va, entonces en la primera tendríamos que decir que su, su videollamada es a las 8.30. What time is the video call with the West Company? Entonces sería here. Here video, here video call, the company is uh, 8 a.m. o'clock. 8.30 a.m. o'clock. Algo así. Uh, uh, your, your, your video, video call is at 8.30 o'clock. Ajá. Ok, y la otra que es. Eh, What time does the workshop with the restaurant department start? Entonces ahí tendríamos que decir. Dice, uh, ¿A qué hora comienza el taller con el departamento de investigación? The What time does the workshop? Uh -huh. Entonces sería aquí. No. Your. Your workshop with the resource department start at nine I am o'clock. Así va. Nine o'clock. Ajá. Your workshop start. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta, dices? A las 9 a.m. Uh -huh, pero ¿cómo sería todo? A ver. Uh -huh. Yo digo que sería your, your, work, your workshop 
you workshop with with a research department research department start at 9 a.m. of clock Yo solo tenía dudas con la última. What time does the company close? Tendríamos que poner the company close. Hi, is everybody here? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, we're still waiting for room number one, number two. Let's see. Really? <laughs> Sorry, Ricardo. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's what you see. Everybody. Miss, I have a question. Tell me. En el caso de la tres, uh -huh. si interpretamos bien, este, la compañía cierra a las 5.55. Check mm, on part of the worksheet. Right. Mm, since tomorrow's schedule, Mrs. Mm. Lopez and leave. Porque dice and leave. Entonces, como que se va. Sí, yo creo que es cerrar como a las seis, tal vez. Ah, es que mm. lo que pasa es que yo tenía una duda de cómo se decía cinco a las cinco a las seis. O se dice cinco cincuenta y cinco. Five... Las dos formas. Quién sé, five fifty five, pero es más probable que la gente le diga cuando ya quedan cinco para las seis. Five to six. Y, y cómo se dice, o sea, cómo enlazamos la oración. The company closes. Closes at uh, five to six. Ah, uh, así se dice. Mm. Así se dice. Five to six. Yes. At five to six. Exactly. Ah, ya. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Pero vamos a ir llenando aquí, pero hay algo que no me deja escuchar bien. Wait a minute. Uy, Ricardo, sorry. Sorry. No, no lo quiere el internet, Ricardo, today. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So, the meeting with the marketing department is at 7.15. The video call with the supervisor from West Company is at 8.30. The workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process is at 9. The workshop lunch is at 12. The second part of the workshop is at 1.45. And she sends tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez and leave at five to six. So what time is the video call? She she called with the wet company at eight, a half past. Half past eight. Half past. Half past. Yes. Oh, wait. sorry. Not it. Not it's my turn. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. It's, it's, okay. it's fine. Okay. okay, so you can say she has the video call at 8.30 or a half past 8. 
half, half past eight. Yeah. It's more elegant. Ah. <laughs> well, it's not very common. <laughs> no, actually, it's very common. Yeah, half past eight. All right. What time does the workshop with the research department start? So here you can say perfectly the workshop starts at 9 o'clock. Some people might say o'clock. Right? And then you have the what time does the company close? Teacher, I yes. had a question. Yes. Eh, solo se puede dejar también como at nine. At nine? Sí, that's a nine. De hecho, la hora tiene muchas formas de decirse, como en español. Que usted dice, ah, la una y media. No, sorry, es la una y treinta. No, es media hora. Uno dice pasada la una, media hora pasada la una. So there are many ways in English too. Okay, wait a second. The company closes at six at six p.m. probably. So this is. <laughs> ah, Ricardo. You are funny. Bye. Eso era todo, ¿verdad? That was it. Simple, simple, simple. This is otro review. Bueno, prácticamente la introducción de la what time. What time is it? What time does the meeting start? What time do you arrive at work? What time do employees leave? What time is it? Es cuando preguntamos la hora exactamente en este momento. Right now, what time is it? Sería, it's nine. It's nine twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Or it's 29 past 9. Espérense que lleguen las y media para que me puedan decir half. Ya casi. <laughs> uh -huh. What time is it? You say it's 9.30. Or it's 9 and a half. Or it's half past 9. Or it's 30 past 9. So... It, there are so many ways to say it, right? Y nunca llegaron las y media. Tardó este minuto. It has passed. <laughs> El minuto <Yeah>. más tarde. <laughs> Porque estaba esperando decir la hora en inglés. Ahora sí, it's half past nine. Or it's 9.30, right? What time is it? Es cuando exactamente preguntamos la hora. Right? Pero si fuera que estuviéramos preguntando a qué hora es tal cosa, pues ahí ya tendríamos que estructurar. Right? What time is the party? Eso también es sencillo. What time is the meeting? What time is the lunch? Eso es también súper sencillo. Nos decimos a qué hora es tal cosa. Pero si ya queremos decir a qué hora inicia el trabajo, a qué hora inicia, a qué hora empieza, a qué hora finaliza, ahí sí ya tenemos que estructurar con what time el auxiliary en todo caso el meeting you, the employees o sea, un sujeto y luego el verbo what time does the meeting start what time do you arrive at work what time do employees leave what time is it, it's 1.08 or it's 8 past 1 what time does the meeting start? The meeting starts at 11 o'clock or it starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? At about 6.48 a.m. That's early. Or I arrive at work at 
take 48 or 12 to 7. What time do employees leave? They usually leave around 7 or 7.30. Teacher, pero tengo una, una duda. Y sí. Yo me he fijado que en algunas respuestas sí especifican el, el AM o el PM y en algunas otras no. Uh -huh. Pero no es problema eso. Bueno, yo sé que al, al, al entablar una conversación, ¿verdad? Lógicamente, Va a depender eh, de acuerdo al contexto, ajá, al contexto, correcto, pero en la escritura no es problema, no habría que especificar. No, o sea, si no, es necesario, no. si da pie a confusión, sí. Por ejemplo, si usted dice a 12. Uh -huh. Para ver si es mediodía o. Ajá, bueno, podría ser que noche, sea ¿no? AM o PM. Pero, por ejemplo, si le dicen, What time do you have lunch? No va, no va a almorzar no, a medianoche. Media <ríe> Por eso tiene mucho que ver el contexto. O sea, la pregunta es muy válida. Hay situaciones en las que sí es necesario especificar y hay situaciones en las que son más como por lógica. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y otra, otra duda. Como el dinner, que ya, sería, ya sabemos que es en la noche. PM. Cena, PM. Y uh -huh. el breakfast de desayuno. Right. En el caso de estas preguntas, ¿verdad? pero ya si estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de reuniones, de otras situaciones, por ejemplo, de videoconferencias, ahí sí podría ser necesario, es ¿sí? decir, AM o PM. Y en inglés no existe el formato de 24 horas. Sí. Sí, también. Sí. Uh, pero por, por digamos que, que eso es como lo más... Bueno, más cuestiones estándar. militares, ¿va? Ajá, sí, eso ajá. es como lo más estándar ajá, para nosotros y por eso, por eso lo, lo, lo leemos así. Pero sí puede ser a 23. Y ustedes a 23, ¿qué diablos es? Ah, oh, a las 11. Oh, oh. Ajá. Oh. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero no es tan común con la hora. Porque sí, okay. lo, lo, ajá, lo, lo respetan más para el militar. Ok. okay. ¿Any other question? No. Vaya. Aquí el gran reto para ustedes será decir si es, wait, 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 uh -huh. si es do or does. Esto es todo lo que hay que hacer. Do or does. Complete the questions with what time, do or does. Practice the conversations with a classmate. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time? No se logra ver la otra parte. Start. Das. Necesito el das. Das. Right? Okay. Das it start. What time does it start? Yes. What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. Mm -hmm. What time? Do. What I do. What time do you arrive? Yes, porque el sujeto es you, entonces necesito do. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. Mm -hmm. What I do? Do the photocopy center open or does the photocopy center open? Does. Yes. What time does the photocopy center, so the business, the negocio de la fotocopiadora, What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. or 10 to 7. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but... What time does? What time does? No, do. Do, porque ah, es restaurant. Son plural, right? What time? Mm -hmm. ah, yes, do cierto. restaurants close here? Restaurants in general, right? So many restaurants. What time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. 
Amanda has to take some photos to many departments on Monday. Mm -hmm. What time? Do. Yes. yes. What time do they? I, you, we, they do. Okay, she it does. What time do they open? Departments in plural, right? What time do they open? They open around around 7:30 or 8:05. Back. Let me see. Wait a second. I'm going to get you this screenshot for you to practice and that you have this conversation. Oh, hold on. Let me put it right here. Okay, now I share the screenshot. One person is letter A, the other person is letter B. Just practice these short conversations for a little while the way they are, okay? Only practice, right? Yes, practice. inicio o quienes quieren iniciar que sea gracias con, con la vaya there is recruitment of new employees on tuesday permíteme un momentito solo que es buena es buena esa dice mm -hmm. there is a recruitment of new employees on tuesday Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Bye, we go. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.25. No, 8.50. Uh, uh, six fifty ten AM. Okay. Let's okay. Let's meet for the meeting of West when West night. Great. What time do you arrive? Array uh eight thirty five AM. Okay. Or, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Uh, no, with, uh, with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do you have to have Oh, around 7 and 25 p.m. Okay, bye. Amanda has to take some reports to money departs on Monday. And what time do they have? They open around uh, 7 30 or 9 uh, no, no uh -huh, 8 um, 5 minutes. Okay, now you are not ready. Hoy cambiamos. Sí. Vaya. Ahorita te escucho. Ok, llame. Eh, 
there is a requirement of new employee on Tuesday. Ready, what time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Okay. There is a recruiting of new employees on Tuesday. Okay. The next. Let's uh, meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Ay, Brian, me asustaste. Okay. Ah, uh, me vas a dar unos tiempos, uno, unos minutos, porfa, Francisco. Está bien. Así. Hay que decir Joel también. No, yo digo. <risa> digo va. Vale. Bueno, eh, okay, bueno. eh. Espérame, pues voy otra vez. Pero es que hay dos respuestas, pa. No, hay otra pregunta y hay otra respuesta después. Ajá, esa, esa la tendría que contestar yo. Ah, vaya, vaya. No sé por yo. Ready. What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. I am. I am. I am. Vaya, uh -huh. voy yo. En la dopa. Uh -huh. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday, Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I am I arrive at 8:11 am. Okay. El eh 11. No es 11, no va. No es 15. <laughs> eh I arrive at 8.15 a.m. I am. I am. I am. Okay. I, I am. Okay. okay. Train, okay, boy. Tomorrow, I have to go to the uh, photo, photo, photocopy. Photo, photocopy center. Me. Me to what time does the photocop center open? It open at 6.50 I am. Wendy, do you want to do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes. Um but on bat, ¿cómo se dice? But but, but but what time do restaurant close here? Oh, around seven. Ay, ¿Cómo se dice? Veinticinco. Twenty twenty five. Oh, around twenty five. Uh -huh. uh, oh, around seven twenty five p.m. <coughs> okay, uh, Amanda has to take some report to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open are around. Okay. There is required of new employees of Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. To, no, sería, I left me for the meeting of Wednesday. Wait, what time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Tomorrow I had to go to the photocopy center. <laughs> Yo creo que iba a decir eso. <laughs> de verdad. Así ah, cierto. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Uh, me too. What 
What time does the Porto Copy Center open? It opens at 6 15 a.m. Mm. Wendy, do you ah, want aquí, to go? Aquí, 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 Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments of Monday. And what time do they, they open? They open? They open around, around 7.30 or como le vamos a decir aquí, 7.30. Sí. Sorry. 30. 30 o 30. 7.30 o 8.5. Pero es que yo ahí me confundo. Entonces... Es, que, es que dijeron de que la hora la podíamos decir como quisiéramos, Ay, pero... Pues... <risa> como de facilite, pero de todas maneras nos cuesta. Bueno, a mí me cuesta la... Por si quieres a mí. Porque también se puede decir... Half past, ¿verdad? Half past. ¿Sí? Seven. Okay. Miss, are you here? <laughs> Tell me. Uh, it's correct. Say eight five. Eight oh five. Yes. Cuando son menos de diez minutos, podemos decir oh. A07, A06, A05, yes. Ah, bye. Bye, a la duda, compañera. A05, uh -huh. yes. 65, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, porque el 0 dijo que. Sí, puede ser O. Ajá, O. Uh -huh. When, Wendy, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do you restaurant close at here? Oh, around. Oh, around 7:25 p.m. Amanda, uh, no, see sí, Amanda. Amanda has to take some reports from any department on Monday. And what do you, what time do you, they open? They open around half past seven or five past eight. Okay, y te anuncio que estás en la sala en general. <laughs> oh, Dios. <laughs> <laughs> Buena esa. <laughs> Se nos motivó el compañero. Sí, no, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> lo bueno es que Ricardo siempre practica, aunque no lo dejen entrar a los breakout rooms. Ah, sí, es que sea solo, pero. No sé si le estaba fallando la señal, quizás, Ricardo. Sí, me, uh -huh. me sacó a una sala aparte, pero me solo. Ignorado. ignorado. <laughs> Alon, otra vez, forever. Dice, <laughs> yo ahorita voy. Alejandro. Don't no worry. Puedo. It's okay. It's all right. Bye. Okay. We finished practicing. No problem. Okay, so we have practiced with this. This is the part of the manual that you see how to structure or what time questions. What time is it? What time does the meeting start? What time do you arrive to work? What time do you start work? What time do you finish work? What time does your boss have meetings? What, whatever, you know, like what time? So that's how you start the question. También eso es parte del manual. Eso es parte de la agenda de Mrs. Robles, que también ya lo vimos. I have, let me see. Yes, this exercise. Si ¿Sí se logran ver los relojitos. 
Yes? Yes. Bye. What time does he get up? He gets up at six o'clock. Vale, la primera ya está resuelta. No sweats, no problems. Pero las otras sí las vamos a tener que resolver nosotros. Vayan viendo, please, la possible answer. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, what time does he have breakfast? Uh -huh. He have. Porque dije have. He no has. 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 He has breakfast. Uh, she has la great pregunta work. porque and... tiene el auxiliar, pero a la hora de responder, como es afirmativo, decimos he has. At 7 mm. a.m. He has breakfast at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock at 7 a.m. Bueno, quieran decir. Okay. Bye. Next, what time does he go to school? He goes to he school quarter past eight, past seven. He goes to school at a quarter past, past seven. Okay. What time does he have lunch? Mm -hmm. He has lunch at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock or mm. at noon. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. What time does he go home? Mm. He goes home. He goes home at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. <coughs> Sorry. Four o'clock. Okay. And what time do they have dinner? They have dinner at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. We can say at seven. Okay. Yeah. 10 o'clock, 7 p.m. All right. Perfect. So you see how this structure, the question, when it refers to he, when it refers to they, you, right? So you have to be careful with the auxiliary. But clear all the drawing. Let's see. Let's see. Vaya, es un poquito más de reto, pero lo podemos hacer. Vean todas las questions. Y yo creo que para que no nos confundamos, lo que vamos a mover va a ser una letra. O podemos poner una flecha, no pasa nada. Una arrow. Vaya, si la primera question es, what time do you get up? ¿Cuál sería la I answer? I get up at six o'clock in the morning. I get up at six o'clock in the letter F. What uh, time yes. does she go to school? B. B. Letter B. Letter B. Uh -huh. She goes to school? At seven. At seven. seven. What do you do in the afternoon? Letter C. Mm -hmm. Letter C. Uh -huh. play I play football. I play football. In the afternoon. I what time does he go home? Eight. Eight. Uh huh. She goes. He goes home at five o'clock. What time is it? D. It's nine. It's, it's 9.40. 9 40. 40. 9 what time does Ben have lunch? Letter E. Mm -hmm. E. 
He has lunch. He has lunch at 11 o'clock. Very o early. <laughs> what time does Rosie have dinner? Letter G. G. Uh-huh. Yes, he has dinner G at G 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Okay, what time do you have breakfast? Letter A. A. I six have breakfast. At six a half. At six. Thirty. A half. A half past six. Or eat at six and a half. And what do you do in the evening? I watch TV. I watch TV. <laughs> I wish, <laughs> I wish I watched TV <laughs> because I have a class. Mm -hmm. You too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Vamos a tomar attendance. Start la attendance list. Christy? Present. Andrea? No sé si Andrea se logró conectar. Yes. Yes, así que estaba viendo que había escrito en el WhatsApp que la sacaba. Me saca de la reunión. <ríe> Ay, Andrea. Sí, la escuchamos bien lejos. Para Brian. Here. Christian. Alexander. Present. David. Doris, Douglas, present, Stephanie, present, teacher. Francisco, here, Gracia, present, Hector, Don Manuel, así <laughs> 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 escucho que le dicen su partner, <laughs> bueno, y todos se ríen. Don Man. Ajá. Gran confidence que le tienen. Una acción de persona. No, no. Un memo, un memo mañana a las 8. No le den idea. Joana. Present. José Antonio. No present. No present. Carla. Present teacher. Y Laura. Present teacher. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ricardo. Present teacher. Good Wendy. night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Okay. No sé si Stephanie. ¿Está disponible para participar en la sesión de One on One o nos vamos con Gracia? Um, fine. I'm fine. ready. You stay. Mm. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow is with me. Tomorrow. Yes. yes. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared? I don't know because, because I don't know what happened in this session. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the first time you study here. Yes, it's my uh, first. Well, it's a requirement from Insafor to have one on one sessions with the participants because we want to know. If you have questions, if you have, I, I mean, doubts, or if you want to just express how you feel in the course, that's that's all about it. You want to uh, do it in English at once? Um, you can do it in Spanglish or Spanish if you if you don't find the words in English, it's fine because this is only to see how you feel in the course. Okay. Me, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> Switch. <laughs> I, I think that I need my vocabulary and my grammar 
is 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 very basic or, or not basic is is slow is i don't know um i forget much words uh, because i don't know uh, i think is but is because i don't practice much time but um day to day is is more easy but slow <laughs> yeah it takes time it's a process yes and it's not just from one day to another that you're going to get the fluency again but it's fine so in general terms okay so how do you feel in the course? Do you practice with your partner? Do you understand the content? Do you understand the topic? Do you find it useful? Do you work on the platform? So do you have any inconvenience? Something we can help you with? Yes. Uh, I, no sé cómo se dice, tratar, trato I, de tratar. I try to practice every day. Uh, with my daughters, with my boyfriend, and day to day. But a veces es como, antes es como me queda el choque porque eh, cuando yo, por ejemplo, estudiaba la secundaria mm -hmm. o en la universidad, tenía la gramática, era como mi fuerte, y ahora es como el das, <risa> ajá. Los auxiliares, yo me, me acordaba tanto de los verbos regulares y irregulares, Pero lastimosamente esto es así, o sea, si uno no lo practica día a día, ¡ay! y uno va más a edad, se le van olvidando más cosas porque recuerda a otras, entonces se van. <ríe> se le van moviendo las carpetas ahí. <ríe> sí, uno como que deja unas, ajá, unos files en desuso y ya después no los recuerda. Pero está bien, o sea, lo bueno es que tiene bases de, de gramática, de vocabulario, y que no es algo completamente nuevo, sino que es algo con lo que ya tiene alguna relación, digamos. Sí. It's fine. Pero ¿cómo se ha sentido en el curso? ¿Cómo ha sentido la interacción? ¿Cómo le han funcionado los materiales para las tareas, la plataforma? ¿Hay algo...? alguna no sé inconveniente o algo con lo que necesite ayuda pues realmente creo yo que todo depende mucho de la persona que esté dando las clases en este caso es usted eh, porque puede haber mucho material puede haber eh, lo bueno en el caso del material didáctico que nos han compartido que está bastante interactivo eh, pero si no hay digamos una buena didáctica de parte de la facilitadora pues entonces no se logra pero acá es todo lo contrario porque creo que y por eso es que ayer gracias le preguntaba porque entre nosotros es como puchica ojalá que ella no te <risa> porque eso y yo le decía gracias así yo es que yo recordaba a ella porque ese año que estuve ahí en la nacional solo fue un ciclo que usted me dio clases y a mí me gustaron mucho esas clases pero es por eso porque eh, con gracia hablamos de que o sea a pesar de las horas es una hora donde ya todos estamos cansados pero no nos no 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 nos duerme pues o sea al contrario <risa> son como clases muy amenas entonces yo me siento bien satisfecha realmente con con el curso verdad porque no me no me da realmente pena no me da miedo sino que siento que voy cuando uno tiene dudas la manera de corregir es una manera bastante ad hoc y es donde uno dice ah ok, está bien así no es una manera tajante como ay no eso no se dice no qué es la forma así es que yo soy súper feliz ay, gracias. <ríe> bueno no ha tenido dificultades con la plataforma ha logrado resolver Eh, sí, he estado haciendo las actividades, eh, bueno, descargué los libros de apoyo, eh, ajá, el examen, lo hice, creo que un día antes que usted lo, el día que usted dijo que hizo el recordatorio, ese día lo hice, no sé si guardó o no guardó las notas, pero sí, yo sí, me acuerdo sí. que yo lo sí, hice, ajá, que sí. ya, ajá ya, las igual. actividades ajá. también, y la verdad es que la, la plataforma la siento bien como 
entendible, no es complicado, este, y hay, lo que me llama la atención es que esto uno puede ir viendo su progreso, o sea, cómo vamos, y, y van quedando lo de todas las sesiones también, Grabar. eso me... Ah, eso está bien. Se puede ver Porque... en la tele. <risas> sí, y si uno no puede estar en clases, entonces ya uno viene y, y lo vuelve a colocar y ya no, no queda ese vacío uh -huh. o, o esa sesión perdida, sino que hay una manera en cómo poder tener acceso. Sí, puede repasar también el contenido. Bueno, traté de ver aquí lo de la plataforma y el progreso, pero sí, yo recuerdo haber ingresado las notas de gente que me han dado un poquito diferente el formato esta vez y sí, 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 ya está me tiene, sí okay. 100% <ríe> oh. <ríe> vamos bien bueno, si no hay entonces dificultades ni nada con lo que necesite ayuda pues no, no, no tenemos por qué hablar, no vamos a la <ríe> pasa nada ok, pero gracias por quedarse entonces no, de nada, usted. Y, eso, verdad es que... y de eso se tratan las sesiones de One on One, solo es como para asegurarnos que vamos todos en la misma página. Porque de repente hay gente que dice, no, es que mire, no, no me deja ingresar con el usuario de la plataforma, por eso no le puedo trabajar, o porque me gustaría que me explique esto. Pero es por eso. Y no era para sí. engañarla. Y para poner el examen. ¡Surprise! ¡Pues! ¡Surprise! No, eso era nada más. Ok, teacher. Bye, Good okay. night. Good Descanso. Night. Bye. Bye. Care. Care.